I'm here in Medjugorje at the foot of Apparition Hill. And uh, this, what's your name? Uh, Julia. Julia, where are you from? Boston, Massachusetts. Boston. Is your friends all from Boston? And mm-hmm. you're also the first time here in Medjugorje? It's my first time here, yes. When did you hear the first time about Medjugorje in your life? Um, uh, I don't know like exactly when I heard about it. I feel like we've had, um, you know, like the different Medjugorje rosary beads like around my house. My family is very Catholic. Um, my dad came here. He had cancer, and so my dad came here with Artie Boyle, who some of my friends have been talking about. He was um, like miraculously healed of his own cancer, and so my dad came here, uh, kind of with the hope that the same miracle would happen, which it didn't. But I don't think that that ever like dampened his belief and certainly doesn't mind so I don't know everyone has always just always talked about how it's like really peaceful and I really like believe in the apparitions and mm-hmm. I'm excited about the secrets and so like <laughs> so I've just always wanted to come here mm-hmm. and now you're finally here the first time mm-hmm. you festival 2022 and yeah um, what is your experience here um my experience here I feel like this is such a place of peace um it's just very clearly like a holy place yeah i've been so i've been to the holy land and i've done like the whole holy land pilgrimage and um one of the places that we went when i was there was the holy sepulcher and it's the it's like the church built over a cathedral i don't know it's a church and it's built over the spot where jesus was crucified and there's like you know like the rock where jesus was like apparently laid uh and you know you can go and you can touch like the hill that he was crucified on and that place felt like extremely reverent and you kind of like walk around and everyone's very like quiet and it it felt odd but this feels more supernatural even than the holy land medjugorje feels more supernatural than the holy land like how would you describe it i um I feel like in the same way that it's really hard to describe what it's like, what what prayer is like. Like, you know, it's really hard to describe, like, a thought process. Um, You kind of just have to have that experience for yourself. You can try the best you can, um, you know. Like, you could describe, like, what a color looks like. Like, you could try to describe the color blue, but you're never really going to, like, know what blue looks like unless you look at it yourself or, like, trying to describe a smell. Like, it's, it's impossible unless you really experience it yourself. So... I don't know. This is just. I I, I really feel like I I've, I've talked to a couple of people. Like I'm a, I'm a pretty social person. I love talking to people, and I, I've talked to some people who you know are just here like on, on a tour. I think like you know even if you aren't religious, like you definitely come here just as a as a tour. And I just feel like everyone everyone that I've talked to, I feel like pe- like if we were doing a word bubble of how people describe Medjugorje, I feel like uh, peace would be the biggest word without a doubt. So. I don't know. It's just like a piece that I've never really felt. Life is just really busy. I'm a t- I teach middle school, and I'm just running around like literally all the time. Um, and I, I still try to like pray. Like my prayer life has gotten better in the last couple months, just because I've been trying. But it's, it, it's a kind of piece that I've only really ever felt, like occasionally in adoration. But it's like all the time. Like you're just walking around, and it's. Just, Were you always Catholic? Or? Um, I mean, yeah, I've, I was, no, like, no, like, special conversion, I was, like, raised Catholic, but I never, um, I, I kind of, it's, like, I was, like, Catholic, you know, like, I was just Catholic in name, but then I kind of, recently, in the last few years, you know, I kind of realized it was something that I wanted for myself, mm-hmm. you know, why? so. Why? Why? Was that initiation? Why? Um. Experience that you said, like, I can feel that you're dived into it yeah no I um I feel like I was looking for places in my life where like you know I you know there are places in your life that you find you that you find joy like there are things in life that give you joy and I feel like a lot of times people you know you just like want to be happy and you obviously want to be joyful and so you are chasing these things that give you joy and it took a little bit for me to kind of realize like actually do some reflection and like put in some work and like realize that joy isn't um joy isn't the end goal joy is like an indicator like a compass pointing you joy joy is just a compass like pointing you towards the divine is what i is what i realized and i i think that there's a lot of times that um you know 
people will like be really deep into their spirituality or you know you're super deep into yoga like I love yoga I like cool but I, I just think that people it, may, it really makes me sad because I see a lot of people I don't think people realize that what they want is God like a lot of my friends like they want something more and they're like you know I want to be a spiritual person or like oh, I'm spiritual but not religious and it's like people have a really hard time with the idea of like you know like the church which I get but I think that what people really miss is like they see the church and they see all like the human flaws that have happened in the church and neglect the fact that like church without faith is just like an organization of people like the the essence of it is like really just like a faith in God and like a relationship with God and so and there's no easier way to get closer to God than through Mary and so Mary's here and present so I've just always wanted to come here so here I am now <laughs> a little and, yeah. tangent sure. and, and why would you say Mary is the easiest way um I mean I I just feel like not only have I just like heard that but that also just kind of like makes logical sense to me you know like she if she's like the queen of the earth and like has been a, like assigned to us on the cross like as our as our mother then wouldn't she want like doesn't any mother want the best for her children exactly. and if the best for her children is to get closer to is to like you know get be in heaven yeah, yeah yeah get closer to jesus and be in heaven then i feel like she would make it she would like make like the yoke of make the make the kind of like the yoke of suffering that you have that you are going to endure just as a catholic as a christian like life isn't easy and if you are searching for like an easy life like good luck mm -hmm. you're not gonna find it and i just i don't know but i feel like it's it's giving me like an entirely new perspective like on just the sufferings of life like the fact that you know through mary like suffering is purpose and or through jesus suffering is purpose and i feel like mary you know is just constantly around great intercessor of yeah. why wouldn't i call on my mother like I call my mother I'm like mom how do I you know do my taxes I'm like why wouldn't I call my heavenly mother to help me with you know everything. getting closer yeah everything else so beautiful yeah I've tried to do the Marian consecration a couple times and I keep like getting a day like six but I'm gonna do it this time I'm gonna do it I know step by step I just I feel like I that's the other thing that I is really special here is that things are like slow in 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 the United States things are very like very fast life is very fast um this is it's things are very slow here and so it's really kind of made me think about faith like I can't just like say like a ton of prayers all at once and then suddenly have this really strong faith like kind of looking back over my own journey it's been years it's taken me years and so and I'm grateful that I ever started and didn't I mean I, I never gave up but I slacked but Beautiful to see. Here we are. Here are. <laughs> so, and what would you tell people like about what is so special about Magic What Why should they come? Even not Catholics. Okay, right, even if you're not Catholic, I mean, first of all, I think I think it's a, I, I think it's a beautiful place. I think it's a beautiful place, and I feel like, you know, if you're not Catholic, um, yeah, if you're not Catholic, cool. All right, come here and prove that there's something. Come here and prove that there's something that that isn't different. You know, I just. Like, just this intense sense of peace. Like, I've heard just so many, like, random little, random people who are like, oh, you know, I didn't, like, believe in these apparitions. Like, it's literally someone in our group um, is here and didn't believe that the apparitions were really happening. They're like, oh, I think that the visionaries are just, like, you know, having an intense experience. And then he is going to, he, we went, we went and we were like camping outside one of the, not camping, we were like sitting outside one of the, uh, one of the visionary's houses and, um, while he was having an apparition and then this person who didn't believe in it was like, I smell roses. Like, you know, like it was like, does anyone else smell roses? And everyone's like, no. And so I just think that if you really don't believe in it, but if you really don't believe in it, then either one thing you can like choose to be ignorant or you can say no I'm going to prove to myself that it's actually wrong like I like I, I'm right and I'm going to prove that this is wrong but you can't prove that you're wrong if you're not even potentially open to it being right I don't know if that makes sense but it's like come here you have like you can't just go into an argument and assume that your position is correct you have to be open to any possibility to know that you're correct and so I feel like if you come here and this is like literally rambling all the place right now I don't know. It's a hard thought to collect, but I feel like 
it's you could come here and it could be a completely secular place if you if you want if like you are not open at all you just have to be open you have to be open because I think that if you are open you will notice that something is different you know I think it's impossible it's impossible it's impossible like just not feel some supernatural sense of peace here I don't know it's maybe not the most concise answer but I don't know I, I really I just really feel like you know if you can afford if you can afford to come out here for the time yeah just let it come see for yeah come see for yourself come here and then tell me that there's not something different and even pray about it if you can't afford it I saw so many people they got a present somehow and they got here you know it's not about the money yeah if they really not. want to come here they will be coming here right it's just like if you really think that there's nothing yeah no just come here but then say god you know if you do exist mm -hmm. Why not show yourself to me? you'll something you you will you will know. I think it would be hard to come here with an openness to the truth, whatever the truth may be, and then not kind of realize. Beautiful. I don't know. So yeah. Thank you for this beautiful interview. Thank you. Thank you.